Hello, welcome to this presentation on how to calculate your GPA. Knowing how to accurately calculate your GPA is a valuable tool as you plan and apply for transfer. To begin, it is important to distinguish the differences between the CSU and UC when calculating your GPA. The CSU application requires you to submit your transferable GPA on the application for admission. This includes only courses numbered 100 level and above at Orange Coast College. In fact, any Coast District course numbered 100 or above is considered CSU transferable. The UC application requires you to submit your overall GPA for admission. This includes all college courses taken, both transferable courses and non-transferable courses. If you took courses outside the Coast District, you can use www.assist.org to check if courses are transferable to CSU and UC from other California community colleges. Please speak to a counselor if you've taken courses at out-of-state community colleges, private and public four-year institutions, or if you've taken courses on a quarter system. In this presentation, we will go over the steps to calculate your CSU transferable GPA. On the CSU application, as you can see, you're required to enter all colleges and universities attended, you're currently attending, or you plan to attend before entering the CSU. For each college, you're required to enter the dates of attendance, as well as the term type, and you're also required to enter the units completed to date. The units completed to date include all courses you've received units for, C or better, and even D if you have not repeated the course. You're also required to include the units attempted to date. This includes all units on your transcript, including withdrawals, pass no pass, credit no credit, and substandard grades. The application also asks for the cumulative GPA, this is the cumulative GPA in Cal State transferable courses only. If you took courses below 100 level at OCC, then the cumulative GPA on your transcript is not your transferable GPA. It also asks for the total grade points, which we will cover later. To get started with calculating your GPA, gather transcripts from all colleges and universities you've attended. List all CSU transferable courses taken for a letter grade. Next to each course, list the grades received and also list the number of units each course is worth. In the example here, you see the student took English A100 or received a grade of C in three units, Math A115, grade of B, four units, Communication Studies A110, with an A for three units, and History A175 with a C for three units. When entering in your courses, you do not need to list courses which you earned a W or withdraw, an I, which is an incomplete, credit no credit, and pass no pass. You also do not need to list courses which are currently enrolled or which you plan to take since these do not have grades yet. Next, for each course, assign the grade points associated with each grade. As you can see here in the chart, you'll assign four points for an A, three points for a B, two points for a C, one point for a D, and zero points for an F. Then, you'll multiply the units by the grade points to get the total grade points. In this example, the student received an A in English A100, which is three units. Therefore, we multiply three units by the two grade points for a C to give us a total of six grade points. Math A115 is four units. Multiplied by the three grade points for a B gives us a total of 12 grade points. You can see we did the same calculations for Communication Studies A110 and History A175.
Next, add up the number of units you have taken. It is important to note that if you have taken a course more than once, you should, ex you should include the best grade earned. You will not receive units for both grades. On your OCC transcript, you will see an E, a letter E, if a course is excluded from the GPA calculation and a letter I if it is included. In this example, the student earned a total of 13 CSU transferable units. Next, add up the total grade points. In this example, the student has a total of 36 grade points. Finally, divide your total grade points by the total units and carry to two decimal places. In this example, the student divides 36 total grade points by 13 units for a transferable GPA of 2.77. Once you have included all CSU transferable courses in your calculation, you will enter the number into your application for each college and university attended. In addition, you'll enter in the total grade points. There is an online GPA calculator on the OCC transfer website that can help calculate your GPA. If you go on to the OCC Transfer Center website and on the left hand side click on helpful links and then if you scroll down to the bottom you'll see the GPA calculator here. If you click on that you'll get a how to calculate your GPA worksheet. The first page has instructions on how to calculate your GPA like we have covered in the presentation. If you scroll down to the second page, this is a very helpful worksheet to calculate your GPA. It's been programmed to automatically calculate the grade points, total grade points, and GPA. You can save the PDF onto your desktop, and that will give you the best results. Let's use a sample transcript as an example in calculating your GPA. On this transcript, let's look at fall 2012. This student took English A101, received a letter grade of B, Ethnic Studies A100 with a B, Kinesiology A107 with a pass, Math A170 with draw, and photography A120 with a B. In the GBA calculation, please remember that we do not include pass no pass grades or withdrawals. Therefore, we will only include English A101, Ethnic Studies A100, and photography A120. So if we go back to the worksheet, we will type in English A. 101, and then on the drop down menu, select the grade, which is a B, and then input in the, th the units, which is three. As you can see here, the worksheet automatically updated the grade points for the B as well as the total grade points. Next, we'll input in Ethnic Studies A100, which was also a grade of a B and also three units. And you'll see again, the worksheet automatically updated the grade points and the total grade points. Lastly, we'll input in the photography A120 course, which was a B, and three units. If you scroll down here at the bottom, you'll see that it gives you the total uh, grade points as well as the total total grade points.
If you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see that the program added up the grade points and the total grade points here at the bottom, as well as automatically calculated the GPA, which in this case was a 3.0. If you have additional questions about calculating your GPA, please visit the Transfer Center on the second floor of Watson Hall. You can also visit the OCC Transfer Center on Facebook. We've got a Facebook page. Please like us on Facebook. And you'll also see on here important information about upcoming events as well as helpful resources as you plan for transfer and apply for transfer.